Howdy, boo. Nothing bludgeons us over the head with a cartoon's premise quite like its opening. Sometimes, those catchy, energy-packed first 40 seconds can be the most exciting part of the cartoon. Then again, sometimes they can be the equivalent to a screeching cat being raked over a car alarm. These theme songs might have zero beat, make zero sense, have zero effort put into them, or worst of all, they might just be straight-up noise. So let's check out the top 10. Worst Cartoon Theme Songs Just a heads up that obviously I'll be covering some old ground in this video with cartoons I previously may have talked about, but I'll try to give a fresh, different perspective on each one. Also, thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a website that offers thousands of different online classes in tons of different categories, from drawing, to webcomics, to photography, to writing, to even cartoon character design. I'm particularly enjoying some of the classes on storytelling, which have given me some new ideas on how to better present my own writing. It's nice how you can choose as many classes as you want, too, without having to pay for each one. Instead, premium membership for under 10 bucks a month gives you unlimited access to high-quality online classes from experts working in their fields, so you can improve your skills at your own rate at whatever hobby or passion you personally enjoy. And if you'd like to try it out for free, I've got a special promo link in my description which gives the first 500 people two months free. Personally, I appreciate in a time when we're paying tens of thousands of dollars for university courses, Skillshare is bringing affordable training to anyone who'd like it. I'm really glad Skillshare offered to sponsor me, as I personally love what they're doing, and I highly recommend them. Anyway, on to the countdown. Number 10, Hammerman. Oh, this is just the best kind of bad. The lyrics make no sense, they don't rhyme, they don't even sync up in any way. It's silly, it's campy, It's it's got its own so bad it's good charm. I like this song too much to call it anything other than charmingly abysmal. In this Deke Animation 90 sweatshop cartoon, Stan, MC Hammer's real name, apparently gets given a... Uh, magic talking shoes, making him into the Hammer Man, who fights monsters with magical talking dance shoes. Jeepers, th this was actually a real concept for a real life cartoon? This song really doesn't sound like it was written by MC Hammer. He was given magical shoes from a hip hop Motown dude. Together they had power. It sounds like it was written by a Deke Animation employee who has never written a song, yet alone a coherent English-speaking sentence in their entire life. Or while we get a magic eye, toilet swirl background that looks like someone lost their lunch. It's a real testament to Hammer's charisma that he could actually somehow still make this horrendous song charming. And you can tell, Hammer's trying. He's really trying. Great effort, MC Hammer. But even you can't save a Deke Animation show. Pickle and Peanut. What's interesting about Pickle and Peanut's opening song is its supreme lack of song. In Disney Channel's attempts to be uh, trendy, I guess, they created that pretentious, mindless, ear grating style of <clears throat> music that I like to call wub wub music. I sometimes hear it in some modern pop songs from artists who I personally think survive on their momentum rather than their quality. Instead of a harmonious changing and moving of pitches like in a normal song, you instead get this continual lazy unchanging wub wub beat with no meaning or harmony whatsoever. In this case, Pickle and Peanut's idea of an opening a song is a continual listing of random items while speaking in ugly, digitally sped up and slowed voices. All while the dreaded wub wub beat pounds into your ears. Pickle and Peanuts early on in the list though is it doesn't tend to aggravate me nearly as much as the later songs on this list. And the eighth worst cartoon theme song is The Wacky World of Tex Avery. Uh, this intro. There's just no defining this one other than a completely nonsensical straight 60 seconds of ear assault. This is gonna be a painful video. We have this boisterous voice combined with continual armpit noises booming through our speakers. Who came up with this and thought, 
Yeah, this is what people want to hear, slamming through their surround sound speakers at full volume. If you've heard the first two seconds of the song's lyrics, congratulations! You now know the entire song of Tex Avery. In case you haven't listened to two seconds of it, and I don't blame you, I will now present you with the theme song's lyrics. Welcome to the wah wah wacky wacky wah wah world of Tex Avery. <laughs> and the seventh worst cartoon opening is Nutshack. Oh, it's the Nutshack, all right. The only thing you will learn by the end of the song is that this cartoon is called The Nutshack. It's the Nutshack. It's the nutshack. There is no other lyrics, it's just The Nutshack. As I mentioned before, this really sounds more like a continual mantra that your friends repeat to you continually in the car for hours on end to try and annoy you. The visuals give us a very clear indication of the raunchy garbage we've signed up for. And worst of all, it's hard to get rid of this one. It's really catchy. It's the Nutshack. And I want no part of the Nutshack. Once was enough for me. Number six. Shaggy and Scooby-Doo get a clue. Again, I feel like I'm not really listening to any harmonious combination of pitches that make a song. I feel like I'm just listening to the singer yell at me for a minute straight. In fact, the singer of the song actually sounds like he's getting progressively more furious in the recording booth as he yells the song out. I'm not exactly sure what I did wrong, but by the end he's yelling at me with such tenacity and ferocity that I get slightly terrified. So Shaggy and Scooby dance around in the shadows in progressively worse monkey dances as we get a random guy yelling at us a song that sounds the equivalent to a backseat Are We There Yet mantra. Only one thing was clear by the end. Apparently, Shaggy and Scooby most definitely get a clue. Shaggy, Scooby -Doo. The worst cartoon opening is Almost Naked Animals. Almost Naked Animals is more like a mantra of insanity than an actual song. The overhyped singer just blares out the name of the show continually, which I guess is actually a favour to us. Maybe the creators are secretly warning us of the lousy cartoon we're about to lay our eyes on. And deep down, maybe a part of them is telling us, Get out now! It's not too late! And judging by the ratings, I don't think all of us took that advice. And for number four, Scaredy Squirrel. Ah, that familiar vehement wail. That ear-splitting screech. This intro was so bad that it lowered the standards of the rest of the cartoon by its mere existence. In fact, if you take away the intro from the cartoon, well, it's still bad, but it's considerably less bad. To describe Scaredy Squirrel's lyrical wail is a disservice to the true horridness of this opening intro. In order to truly convey the irritation to you, I must actually subject you to Scaredy's weaponized ear torture for a brief moment. I apologize in advance. <laughs> Okay, heard enough, we're moving on. And the third worst cartoon theme song is Fanboy and Chum Chum. Ah. Lyrics that include ba 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 are generally not in the classier category of cartoon openings. In this case, Fanboy and Chum Chum bombard us with 30 straight seconds of how wacky, wild, and maddeningly annoying they are. I guess there's some lyrics, I mean, they tell us they don't care and ask us to look at their underwear. Oh, who am I kidding? There's no saving this one. It's just mindless, hyperactive babble. Fanboy and Chum Chum's opening easily falls into the worst list. And the second worst cartoon opening is, without a doubt, My name is Angela. Oh, Angela Anaconda. Is there anything that pierces the ears quite like Angela's voice? I can barely even classify it a song. A song will have some sort of consistency and melodical harmony. This is just butt ugly paper cutouts sing talking. Oh no, it's Minnie Pooh. 
It's cheesy. It's horribly off pitch. It's just auditory torture. Even if we could somehow look beyond Angela's noxious singing voice, all that's happening is mostly just Angela attacking the school bully. The best part of Angela's song? It is mercifully quick. And before we get to number one, I have two quick unmentionables. Mega Babies. I hate this song and this cartoon so much, it's an unmentionable. I, I don't even want to talk about it. It's not the absolute worst, but it's pretty close. Breadwinners. This one would probably go to number two normally, but I promised from previous videos that I would lay off this series now that it's cancelled. But honestly, there was only one cartoon I thought had an objectively worse intro. Anyway, on to number one. And I have no doubt, the number one worst cartoon opening is... Happy Tree Friends. This is perhaps the closest cartoon on this list to what I'd personally define as rotten. Not because it's got violence and gore, but because it uses violent deaths in the most realistic ways possible, in an attempt to shock and horrify the audience. I guess to be edgy. And how does the opening hold up? This introduction is basically just listening to 20 obnoxious teenagers squeal into your ear in their juvenile attempt to be edgy for 30 seconds. But that 30 seconds will feel like an eternity. The lyrics are nothing but a bunch of repeated gibberish squeals being belched out of your speakers. I honestly find it hard to even listen to this song without having to stop as I realize my heart rate is beginning to rise in anger. This is the only cartoon intro I can imagine that would commonly give people blood-strewn flashbacks while irritating them simultaneously. The song has zero sense of harmony, zero effort to convey meaning, and has zero complexity to it. It purely exists to make you so annoyed at the characters so you can be angry enough to enjoy their realistic decapitation and mutilation. This cartoon's all about the unapologetic, obnoxious demanding of a person's attention, using gratuitous, shock value, realistic death as a tool. These visuals are worse than if they were gory. A child could walk through this introduction having no idea a rabbit was about to get its eye violently gouged out of its socket with a vacuum cleaner, resulting in a pool of gore. I can have a sense of humor about all these other cartoon introductions in their silliness. I mean, Angela doesn't mean any harm, but this is the only cartoon intro I know that isn't just annoying beyond coherent reason. It is the only opening that is as rotten as a cartoon it represents. I can comfortably call Happy Tree Friends the most rage-inducing, triggering, annoying, soulless, gibberish, revolting cartoon opening of them all. Pardon me if I did get a bit overly serious while talking about this opening. It's just the only cartoon opening on this list that makes me lose my sense of humor. <sighs> But you know, for a lot of these, we had to go back decades. Post-2010 cartoon intros tend to be far less obnoxious and have a much keener sense of timing. They're not always as catchy, but many of the modern cartoon intros I could listen to a hundred times, and I have. They set the tone of what I'm about to watch and get me excited. And if you think I missed a particularly terrible cartoon opening, feel free to leave your own thoughts in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.